When did you see it? Last night. Yeah. In the screening room. Do you like it? I, you have to understand that I have been seeing screener after screener. It's that time of the year when we're trying to get all the best movies in. Yeah, yeah. This one has catapulted to the top. Oh, that's so good. It was amazing. Oh, that's so I great. I was just blown away. Oh, I'm glad. And, you know, watching it like this, too. Yeah. I am. Um, uh, and I'm glad that we got the uh, the blame for the singing out of the way because everybody was coming out in the hallway and, and yelling at me <laughs> for no, doing it's Tim. I know exactly. Like, I said Please. I wanted to work with him. <laughs> yeah, I mean? Obviously, new I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Working with him, I know I don't either. <laughs> uh, I got I got to ask you about this. You, you had to be approved by Stephen Sondheim before you could even do the project. Oh God, yeah. I had to be approved by my husband too. Or not? He's not my husband. But, you know, the father of my my two bastards. Um, and Stephen Sondheim, yeah. No, we, Mrs. Lovett, Sondheim was really specific when this came around, so that he had casting approval over Mrs. Lovett, because it is one of the hardest parts, apparently. It's much harder than any of the other parts. Of course. Yeah, I get all the difficult bits. It's very right, strange. Is this going to bother you? Not at all. I mean, I... It just is part I, of it. I'd rather just, you know... Should I just go like this? So it makes it sense. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kicking baby, is what yeah, it exactly. is. Yeah, exactly. The metronome. <laughs> yeah. da, da, da. It's, um... So, um, so yeah, he had casting approval, and he was absolutely adamant that he should. And um, and I'm kind of glad. I mean, I had to work really, really hard, and I had didn't know how to sing, but I just thought, Christ, I'm going to go for this because I've always wanted to be in a musical, but I've always loved Sondheim, categorically, just like his number one fan, and and I've always loved this particular musical. So I thought I've got three months. I've got nothing to lose if I don't get it. I mean, it's understandable. You can't necessarily learn, learn how to sing in three months. So, but equally, I didn't want to be cast for obvious reasons. You know, it looks like oh, she's the girlfriend. You know, so um, I knew I if I got the part, I wanted to feel that I deserved it for the right reasons. You know. Now you you talk about being the most difficult role. Actually, not only did you have to act and sing first, but yeah. there's a scene when you are actually making pies at the same time. Yeah, he's demanding sometimes. Uh, yeah, the first song is famously hard, Worst Pies in London. And he comes in and she's making a pie at the same time, singing, you know, nonstop. Um, and it's a great number because instantly, like within a minute and a half, you get the whole of her character practically. And she's just a nonstop talker and she goes off in all different directions. And it seems complete chaos, but the more you look at the part of the song, it's very tightly written and there's nothing spare. And he's even written into it the pie making and the rhythms of all to do with, you know, smashing the, he says, pounds the dough, pick up the rolling pin at this point, pound the dough. And it was kind of like Martha Stewart gone mad or on speed. It was like, um, uh, I love doing it, but it did take a lot of practice. I had to really do it 5,000 times to get everything down and everything in place and just do it and do it and do it. And you have to be really fit to sing, particularly song time. Mm physically on the ball because you have to have the mental stamina to get through all the whole song and know because it's so complicated and goes all over the place and with all the different business you have to be very fit yeah do you go for the humor or do you go for the sympathy you don't go for humor I don't think I think you have to play something straight if something's written there with humor in it you play it straight without any consciousness of it being humor and humorful or funny and then um Hopefully it'll be funny. I mean, Tim was very aware of actually not being either theatrical or playing anything in a self-conscious way and not making it over the top because he said, you know, you're in a musical, you're already over the top, you've got weird makeup on and there's a band behind you. So you have to go in the opposite direction and play it as minimally and as unselfconsciously and as just as simple as possible, which is quite difficult with Miss Lovett because she can often be played very broadly, you know. Um, and he'd say, like, okay, do it again, but without you using your hands, because using your hands makes it theatrical, and, you know. Love the film. Thank oh. you so much. Thank yeah. you.